I thank you for showering us with your love and solidarity in these trying moments. I thank God for being an ever-present help, even in our of need. My prayer is that we hold on to him to carry us through. My thanks goes to the government of Uganda, led by His Excellency Oyer Kagutam Seveni, and the UPD Fraternity for all the support we have received in this season. We are grateful. I thank the teams of prayer warriors who interceded for Eli. We felt the love and support of people from all walks of life. I would like, in a special way, to thank the Greater Kampala Revival Fellowship for keeping the fire on the altar burning. I thank my children for taking care of their father. From the time he started feeling unwell to the time we went to hospital, he was showered with love. All worked as a team and a support system to me and to each other. Special thanks to Daudi and Brenda Chituma for working well with the Nairobi team. I also thank Enos and Connie Tumsime for coming alongside us and walking this journey with us. It was not an easy one. Enos is the one who convinced Eli to go to Nairobi for treatment, where he was well taken care of. I thank the medical teams of Murago and Nairobi hospitals, led by Dr. Mading and Professor Rude, respectively. They went above and beyond in trying to save Ellie's life. Ellie loved God. Ellie loved his country. Ellie loved the UPDF. Ellie loved his family and humanity as a whole. His love never wavered for all this. He undertook the task in different offices he held with passion diligence, consistency, and integrity. He was a man of all seasons. He embraced each assignment without complaint. Whether in office or out of it, he remained royal and true to his values and the values of the revolution. He always said, do what you love, love what you do, do it to the best, and let God do the rest. And he did exactly that. We were blessed and proud of the great legacy he has left behind. We will never, it will never be erased. In the 35 years God gave us, I saw him grow in his walk with Christ. He was very bold in testifying about what God has done in his life, had committed to preaching God's word in his later years. We opened our home to revival fellowship, which birthed Right TV, which currently is streaming on YouTube. He looked after so many children, put them through school, all the way to university. We have PH holders, masters and degree holders in all career paths. All who had gone through our home, they are many. You can't count them. These are just a sample of many who took care of Who, 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 sorry, these are just, there are many we can't count them, but we are grateful 
for his big heart and commitment to humanity. Eddie was intentional in befriending his children. All our children truly experienced the father's love, care, guidance, and provision. He was made, he always made time despite his busy schedule. I think you've heard the testimonies from his children, how he made time for them, how he took care of them, how he shared special moments with them. He used to tell us about three things they wished for when they were in the Liberation War. One, for the war to end in victory. Two, to be among the lucky ones to see the victory. And three, for God to give them a family and children. God granted him all the three. We are blessed with children. We were blessed with children and even grandchildren. What a blessing. He was a soldier for Christ, a liberator, a person who always stood for truth and fairness despite the cost. Even in his period of sickness, as we interceded through the passage of Hezekiah, we were reminded that God had added him more than 15 years to his life long ago. Through DNS experiences he encountered in his lifetime, he was struck by lightning, was beaten by a snake on multiple occasions, shot in the head, but he survived through it all. We thank God for his life and long life for I can confidently say he lived a fruitful, happy, fulfilling life. He used, he always told us he was grateful to God for granting him all he desired and wished for in his life. He was blessed. He was blessed. We are happy to have lived with a blessed man and he had impacted our lives with such a blessing. Last but not least, I would like to thank God for the life of my amazing husband, Eddie. He was a unique and a very rare human being who did things in his own way. We shared a fulfilling, adventurous life together with its ups and downs, but God kept us on course, and here we are at the end of our vows till this do us part. We will always be grateful for God giving him us and we will miss him deeply. I call upon our children to be firm in the Lord, stay united and keep his legacy of love. Rest well with angels, my beloved Ed. I'm sure we will meet again. God bless you. Thank you, Jenny.